Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you another Polish recipe, Nalishniki, crepes. Now crepes are very easy to make and they're very versatile. You could use them for breakfast, part of dinner, the main course, and of course dessert. What's great about Nalishniki, you can make them ahead of time. They'll keep in the refrigerator for a couple of days or the freezer for several weeks. So now, let's get going and make some Nalishniki. The recipe I'm going to share with you will yield about 10 8 inch Nalishniki. For the ingredients, you will need 1 cup of cake flour. Now you can use an all purpose flour, but the cake flour will make Nalishniki lighter. Three large eggs, one cup of whole milk, three quarter cup of water, and spring water is preferred, quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and then some butter for brushing a pan while we make Nalishniki. Well, I said making Nalishniki is easy. All you need is a blender and the ingredients. Now we're going to add all the ingredients in a blender, turn on the blender and make sure that all the ingredients are well mixed. Now I'm going to start with adding eggs, milk, water, and then we're going to add the flour, And the salt. So you want to start with the liquid ingredients and end with the flour and the salt. And we're going to cover, put the lid on, and turn on the blender. Now that we have all the ingredients mixed well, we're going to let the batter rest for about half an hour. And this will make a more tender nalashniki. Now we are ready to cook Nalashniki. Here I have a crepe pan, a pan that I have had for many years. As you could tell, it's well seasoned. Now you can use any pan to do crepes as long as the sides of it are on a slight angle. This will make flipping Nalashniki a lot easier. Now we're going to heat the pan up until you drop water on it and it dances just like that. Then, using a pastry brush, you're going to lightly butter the pan. As you notice, I lifted the pan up away from the heat. So, the butter wouldn't burn. Next, you're going to pour about a third of a cup of the batter onto the pan, and you're going to swirl the pan in a circular motion, making sure that the bottom of the pan is well covered. Now, because I'm using a gas stove, I'm going to keep the pan away from the direct heat so the nalishniki don't burn. Now, if you have a smooth electric cooktop, you'll be able to place the pan directly on your cooktop. Now we're going to let the nalishniki cook till the sides of the batter come away from the side of the pan. Oh, this looks beautiful. So now you could tell that the sides are beginning to come away. And very likely we're going to flip there. And you're just going to let the crepe cook for a couple of seconds and then we can put them on a rack to cool. And now for the filling. One of the traditional ways to serve Nalashnik is to fill them with cheese. Now, so here I have farmer's cheese. I have placed the farmer's cheese in this bowl. Now this particular serving is seven and a half ounces. To that, I have added two tablespoons 
of whole milk plus four tablespoons of sugar. I have blended all the ingredients so it's nice and smooth. I'm going to take some of the cheese filling and spread it on the naleshnik, just like that. And now we're going to take the naleshnik over to the pan. We're going to heat it up. Once we heat it up, then we're going to top it with the strawberries. So now we are ready to heat up the naleshnik. So here I have my crepe pan. I'm going to lightly butter the pan. I'm going to place the naleshnik right on top. Now we're going to heat up the naleshnik for just a few seconds. We're going to first fold it in half. Then we're going to fold it one more time. There. And now it's ready to be finished off. So here we have the naleshniki, topped with strawberries and whipped cream. Well, I said making naleshniki is easy. I hope you find this recipe interesting, delicious, and easy to follow. So I hope you'll give it a try. But now, for additional naleshniki fillings, please refer to our other video more of Nalashniki fillings. Thank you for tuning in.